blessing for people around the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the YouTube channel. Thank you, Lord, for all the active so that when people tap in and tune in, that new material is there, new new prayers and messages are available for people that they can pray along, that they can lift up their faith to glory, get their victory, get their breakthrough. Lord Jesus, we thank you because you're the God of breakthrough. We thank you, Lord, you're the God of deliverance. You're the God of healing, restoration, miracle signs and wonders follow the apostles. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, for her commitment to you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, strong and bold for you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for that boldness. I bless your name on high, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, your glory. Your honor, your praise, Lord, you deserve the highest praise, Jesus. Lord God, I give you all to you, Jesus. I give it all to you, Father. Lord Jesus, you're in heaven to the prize of her heart to you. 
which will be uploaded to the YouTube channel. We do not edit the messages and the prayers. They go up exactly as they are, as we are doing here now live. So please be conscious and be mindful of what's going on in your surroundings. While Apostle is praying or ministering, let us please worship softly so that she can move freely in the spirit. We do have a different phone system, and it does. It's very sensitive. So if you are worshiping along, just back off a bit from the phone so that it does not knock her out while she is praying or ministering. Now, everyone, let us worship as the woman of God comes forth in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Blessed be the rock of ages, the one true and living God. A, bless, a very pleasant good morning to each and every one, my God Almighty. <coughs> I give him praise, I give him glory, I give him honor. For he is Lord, he is God, he is King, he is my Savior. Is he your Savior? Come on, people of God, is he your Savior? My God, my Savior, my Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the Great High Priest, the Mighty Powerful God, the Loving, Caring Father, the One, my God Almighty, that promised never to leave us nor forsake us. What a mighty God. I just love him. Oh God Almighty. My, my, my. Jesus is mine. Oh God, he never fail. He cannot lie. He will never die. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. My God, we are still people of God in the month, my God Almighty of November, where we can say, my God Almighty, it is the 11th month. And my God Almighty, with the two one, my God Almighty, that makes eleven. My God Almighty, the Holy Ghost, take them and said, One is my God Almighty, you, and one is the Lord Jesus Christ. So you must stand in the midst with Him, my God Almighty, one and one. To give Him all the praise, the glory, and the honor, to lift His name and I. And know that, my God Almighty, there are, my God Almighty, other meaning for it, but we my God Almighty, this empowerment line is concerned. As the Lord God Almighty said, He will use me as the foolish things to confound the wise. Because, my God Almighty, in the midst, my God Almighty, of ministry, many, my God Almighty, supposed to know by now and not as educated as many. But I give God praise, glory, and honor. And I thank God for those that are educated. And I just pray that they will let God use them to the fullness of, their, of, of His glory. My God Almighty, people of God, people of God, Rebebe Kotoria Bashanda, today my God Almighty is the eighth day. Can you understand, my God Almighty, what eight is? You better, my God Almighty, hallelujah. Get out of what you're in and come into new beginning. Get rid of, my God Almighty, what is old. Get rid of what is not good. Get rid of what is old in your back. Get rid of what, my God Almighty, the wicked old dragon want to tap you down in into a sepulchre. My God Almighty, but this warrior, my God Almighty, rise up this day to bind, cramp, and paralyze every forces, every dog every spirit, everything that is not of God in the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, 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 glory. My God Almighty, as we touch, my God Almighty, into 2017, there you see the 20, my God Almighty, the two, my God Almighty, sitting down. My God Almighty, very firm. My God Almighty, telling us that it is, my God Almighty, time for us to get the double balance in our life. If you notice how balanced the two is, my God Almighty, it cannot fall, it cannot be shaken. It cannot, my God Almighty, be moved. So people of God, let us, my God Almighty, have our, my God Almighty, spiritual and physical. My God Almighty, firm in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that no one can move it. Nothing can move it. Let us have, my God Almighty, the double balance, the spiritual and the physical. Let it, my God Almighty, get to the place where we can, my God Almighty, have ourselves. Like my God Almighty, a duck. My God Almighty, when the rain is falling, don't care how much that duck is in the rain, that fed those feathers have never gotten wet. They always keep dry because what? They stand firm. My God Almighty, 
Rebebe Kotoria Bashata, Rebebe Kende. That means, my God Almighty, you have to try and stand firm. It doesn't matter what is going on in your surroundings. Stand firm for the Lord Jesus Christ. Look not to the left nor to the right, but look straight ahead to Him because He is God. In the midst, my God Almighty, of the zero, of the two, there's a zero, my God Almighty, is my God that's stuck to the back. You need to understand that zero, my God Almighty. The reason why that zero is behind the two, it is showing, my God Almighty, that everything that is not of God but get, must get thee behind. My God Almighty, it must get thee behind. It must be cancelled, cramped, and paralyzed in the mighty, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is Lord, he is God, and he is King, the Savior, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. What a mighty God he is. Come in the midst, my God Almighty, where we have the 17, my God Almighty, knowing my God Almighty, hallelujah, that there is a one standing, my God Almighty, under the umbrella of the seven. Look how the seven, my God Almighty, shoot out its head, and my God Almighty, cover in the one. You need to understand that is like my God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, that sit in the element of heaven. My God Almighty, the one true and living God, the God that cannot fail, cannot lie, and will never die, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy and righteous is his name. I love him so much that I call him my Bunununus. He is my God, my Lord, my Savior. In spite of what I'm facing, in spite of what I'm going through, I, my God Almighty, will never, my God Almighty, by the grace of him, I will never turn my back on him. I will never look to the right nor to the left. I will always, my God Almighty, hallelujah, purpose in my heart to wait on him. So people of God, it is for us, my God Almighty, to wait upon him. <laughs> Rabba baba baba roko seteri kando do boshende ribia kotoria baba basata my god my savior seven my god almighty is what completion seven mean my god almighty whatever my god almighty is not of god must be cancelled whatever need to come in my god almighty whatever in the midst that is blocking must scatter my god almighty to the pit of hell in the name of the lord jesus christ and i know my god almighty that many of you my god almighty are going through all kind of things for my god almighty many years. So my God Almighty just begin. My God Almighty, hallelujah. Going through all kind of things for weeks, for months, for years. Lord God Almighty, but I know the Savior, Redeemer, the great I priest, the great I am. He is God. And what He wants for us to do, my God Almighty, hallelujah, is to pursue, my God Almighty, in our waiting. Look not to the right, nor to the left, but look straight ahead to God. And in the midst of waiting, people of God, we are to my God Almighty, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up to him. Give him all the praise, the glory, and the honor. My God Almighty, for he deserve it. He deserves to be glorified. He is Lord. He is God. He cannot fail. He cannot lie. He will never die. He's the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't matter, my God Almighty, what the witches and the warlocks and all these wicked people out there are doing. What the thief, the killer, the raper, name it, people of God are doing. Just know that my God Almighty God is bigger than them. God is more than them. And in the time, my God Almighty, when they are not looking, God will come in and bring down everything. When my God Almighty, the whole man believe that his candle is burning and it is looking bright. And whatever they write on it, my God Almighty, is going to comfort and my God, destroy each and every one life. I rise up to tell you, my God Almighty, that the Lord Jesus Christ, he is in the midst. For there is no light like the light of the Lord God Almighty. And in the midst, my God Almighty, of all going through, we are to my God Almighty, look to him, wait on him, look not to the right, nor to the left, wait my God Almighty and the Lord Jesus Christ, Rebecca Toria Bashanda. <coughs> I know, my God Almighty, that somebody is waiting on this word, and this word is saying, wait, my God Almighty, look not to the right, nor to the left, my God, my God, my God, for I rise up to tell you that when God come in true, my God Almighty, no one can stop it, if you are somebody, my God Almighty, that my God Almighty is a, my God, a tithes payer, if you are a tithes payer, continue, my God Almighty, to pay your tithes wherever, if you are, my God Almighty, Almighty, hallelujah, a seed sower, continue to sow your seed, my God Almighty, wherever, if you are my God Almighty, a God blesser, continue to bless who God tell you to bless, my God Almighty, but make sure it is the voice of God that is speaking, if you are my God Almighty, hallelujah, a prayer, a prayer warrior, a person that pray, continue to pray, if you, my God Almighty, hallelujah, are someone that love to get in the word of God, continue 
continue to get in the word of God. If you are my God Almighty, hallelujah, or somebody that love to seek the face of God, continue to seek his face, my God Almighty, because he said in his word, my God Almighty, in Matthew 6, my God Almighty, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, then all other things shall be added. What am I talking about? You are waiting. Wait on the King of Kings. Wait on the Lord of Lords. I pray, my God Almighty, for your mind. Oh, yes, I pray for the mind, my God Almighty, that are waiting on God, and the enemy will come with all kind of things. He will tell you to stop, do what you're doing, but rebuke him, send him back to the pit of hell, because he don't like to see good things happen. My God, my Lord, my King, I pray this day, this time, this minute, for those that are waiting, for those, my God Almighty, that the waiting becomes long. It be, my God Almighty, it is like when my God Almighty you have plan and the rain is falling. In, and you believe that the rain is going to hold up, but it don't stop until way up in the evening. My God Almighty, and you're saying, but the day already finished. The reason why you see the day already finished is because you're checking the minutes. But if you were checking, my God Almighty, the time with you and God, it would be like nothing, just as He said, My God Almighty, a thousand years is like one, my God Almighty, here, a condom of Shanda in His sight. Really? Feel the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I come to my God Almighty tell somebody that is waiting upon God. Somebody, my God Almighty, might go into prayer and fasting. And they are saying, Why, my God Almighty, I go into prayer and fasting and nothing is happening? The reason why you can't speak that over your blessing is because you're not in the spirit, my God Almighty. Because you have to get it in the spirit that it already done. It already done, my God Almighty. Look not to the right, look not to the left, but look straight ahead to the Lord Jesus Christ. What he tell us, my God Almighty, in Psalms 127, my God 121, he said, my God Almighty, lift your eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh your help, for your help come from no one else. My God Almighty, my Savior, my Redeemer, oh God, my my God, my God, arise up to tell the people of God that the waiting might be long, but my God Almighty, don't let the enemy black and stop you from waiting on God. Don't let the devil tell you a different story when God already tell you what to do. My God Almighty. Many of you, my God Almighty, have gotten prayed for. The my God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty of the woman of God, my God Almighty, to speak things into your spirit. To my God Almighty, bring forth secret. Bring forth things, my God Almighty, that you not even believe that God will go in it and speak it but my God Almighty the enemy will come and tell you other things what I'm saying is that my God Almighty you are to trust the Lord of Lord and the King of all Kings wait and trust him look not to the right nor to the left for my God Almighty he cannot fail cannot lie he will never never die yet my God my Savior my Redeemer, I love him. I love that man from Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has taken away my sin, and he let the Holy Ghost come in. I love him! I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. Can somebody help me, my God Almighty, to praise him? Yes, yes, Jesus, glory your name. Mighty God, I love you, I adore you, I honor you, Jesus. So many people online, my God Almighty. So many people online, my God Almighty, and majority people phone close. I'm telling the people of God, many is going to miss out this morning. Many is going to miss out this morning and their blessing. Because my God Almighty, when the Lord God Almighty, oh God Almighty, it has been said, praise him, lift him up, my God Almighty, glorify him. And many shut their mouth. My God Almighty, why you think things happen? Don't you know, my God Almighty, in the midst of this empowerment line, while you are on it, don't you know that, my God Almighty, it can happen just like the day of Pentecost? My God Almighty, when everyone was there in one accord, Ekondorobo Shandai, what happened? The power of God come in, the Spirit of God fall, my God Almighty, like rain, and it come down, and the Word of God said, everyone was speaking, my God Almighty, in heavenly language. Many of you don't understand, for you to get many 
many things. You have to grab it in the spirit. But if you are gazing and not looking, and my God Almighty not focusing, not my God Almighty being conscious in your surrounding, then my God Almighty then will come in and snatch it. You need to understand. You have to, my God Almighty, give what belong to God. Give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. Economical shatter. Look not to the left, not to the right. While you are waiting on him, while you are trusting in him, because he cannot fail, he cannot lie, he will never, 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 never die. Come on, people, can you all lift him up? Yes, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Worthy are you, God. My God, the candle was My God Almighty, I tell you, people of God, the enemy, my God Almighty, might come in, and the enemy might steal. He might come in, my God Almighty, like a thief in the night, and he might, my God Almighty, steal. My God Almighty, some of you, my God Almighty, are going through things, my God Almighty, that you never expect to happen in the midst of even your marriage. You see, my God Almighty, the enemy come in and snatch husband, snatch wife. My God Almighty, cause his children to be rebellious. My God Almighty, out of control and giving you all kind of hell that you don't expect. My God Almighty, but I rise up to tell you that my God Almighty in the midst, my God Almighty, knowing that my God Almighty prayer gone up and you are looking to God to say, God, God, when, 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 even though you're asking him when, then you have to tell him something. You have to say, God, in spite of my waiting, I trust you. I will not look to the right. I will not look to the left. I will not let things get me down. I will not focus so much on the situation, but I will focus on God. I will praise you. I will worship you. I will adore you. I will honor you. I will do for you more than what you myself you can ever imagine or think because in the midst of everything, maybe my God Almighty one day, while I'm my God Almighty might be sleeping, or while I'm praying, or while I'm my God Almighty reading, or while I'm seeking, while I'm doing they might come and knock in and the knocking, my God Almighty, might be the answer. For you will send it in, my God Almighty, when I least expect it. Come on, people, lift him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to glory. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I praise you. I worship you, Jesus. To honor you. King of My cause of the candle was shende. My God, my Lord, my King. I'm telling the people of God, everything take time. You might believe, my God Almighty, many times. That my God Almighty, hallelujah. You're saying, what happened to my situation? It's not moving. Things look as if it stop and it's not going anywhere but I rise up to say this my God is because we are using our natural my God mighty eyes if we can only stop in to the realm of the spirit we can know that it already done we can know that my God almighty oh God almighty many times we are the blockage to our situation many times we are the one that is doing wrong many times we are my God almighty the one that is doing things that is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. So people of God, let us, my God Almighty, hallelujah, take this time, this minute to call in ourselves. Look, my God Almighty, hallelujah, in our surrounding. Look, my God Almighty, on our daily doing. Look, my God Almighty, and the last thing we say yesterday, in the midst of somebody, did it please them to God? Did we bless somebody? Did we cause somebody to think about Jesus Christ? Did our ways, my God Almighty, please them? My God God Almighty unto him. My God, my Lord, my King, lift him up, people of God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord God Almighty. Jesus. 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 Some of us, my God Almighty, when we are going through things and somebody call us, we get very hungry. We get miserable. We start to talk things and say things because, my God Almighty, we are not seeing things coming forth. But what we need to get and understand, sometimes we are the one that is standing in the midst of our blessing and causes it not to come in. My God Almighty, 
Let us check ourselves while we are waiting on God. Let us call in the my God Almighty, our word, our talking, our doing, whatever we are saying. My God, my Lord, my King, for you need to understand many times when God warn us and tell us to stop doing things, look into yourself and see if you're still doing. Because my God Almighty, while we are there doing whatever is coming, my God Almighty might stop because the Lord God Almighty said whatever is given, it has to come, my God Almighty, hallelujah, in the midst, as he said, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and have no sorrow to it. God don't want to send your blessing in the midst, my God Almighty, of mess, in the midst of things that is not pleasing in his sight. He want for us, my God, to have a clean hands and a pure in heart before him. My God Almighty! Yes, Jesus! Clean hands and pure heart, yes, God! Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, Your hand before you, Jesus. Many times, many people say, what is a clean hand and what is a pure in heart? Lord God Almighty, but they don't seem to get and understand. It's my God Almighty, hallelujah. Our hands, my God Almighty, might not do in any killing, but what is your hand, what are your hands touching? Is your hand, my God Almighty, touching many things, my God Almighty, on your computer that you have no business in? Rebebe Kotoria Himabasha my God Almighty is your hands my God Almighty hallelujah leading you into my God Almighty direction where you don't belong is your hands my God Almighty telling you to do things that you're not to do my God my Lord my Savior my Redeemer remember people of God the hands my God Almighty it direct the body it do for the body it touch my God Almighty and it move Shanda. It is like the steerings in the maze. Not just the feet alone I'm talking, but my God Almighty, the hands. Always, my God Almighty, ready to make plans. There's no plan without the hands because in the midst of your planning, you have to use your finger writing. Hey, you have to get and understand people of God the hands always do the planning my God might while the feet get up and do the running but I'm talking as the Lord God Almighty said a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God my God Almighty how many times we lift our hands and give it to the Lord Jesus Christ how many times as he said in his word my God Almighty in Psalms 47 1 oh clap your hands all ye people shout unto the Lord with a voice of clear triumph Rebecca told you about how many times my God we clap our hands to him how many times my God we shout unto him with a voice of triumph how many times my God Almighty our heart stick on him instead of things in the midst many of you my God Almighty when you are going through you believe that you my God Almighty must jump in your car or take the bus, or if you can walk, or if you're in the midst of your house, to my God Almighty, look about food, eat yourself fat, eat yourself, my God Almighty, uncomfortable. Ibabasha! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. My God, my Lord, my King, and your dear, my God Almighty, you're heating yourself to sickness. You're even eating things that your body don't want to swallow in. My God Almighty. I'm talking about my God Almighty. While you're waiting on God, you must not my God Almighty, sit down and let the enemy have you to do in nothing because there must be something in the maze. What about praising him? What about glorifying him? What about worshipping him? What about laying before him? My God, my Lord, my King, for the enemy, my God Almighty, he wants for you to, my God Almighty, eat yourself to sickness. My God Almighty, he wants for you. My God Almighty, even in the maze, if you said you're going to do, my God Almighty, fasting and prayer my God Almighty the enemy come in and he start to put all kind of my God desire 
in your mind. Desire, my God Almighty, hallelujah, of your favorite dishes. Desire what you have in the refrigerator. Desire what you have in the cupboard. Desire what you have on the table. Desire what you have, my God Almighty, in whatever bag. My God Almighty, you need to understand that, my God Almighty, you have to stand strong on the rock of ages of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is Lord. He is God. He is King. And what he said, a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see him. It does mean that you have to be working witchcraft or hobby. It means, my God, when you can be under his commandment and look to him, no where else, not to the left, not to the right, not in the east, not in the west, not in the north, not in the south, but straight ahead in the realm of the spirit. My God Almighty, lift him up if you can do it. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ma kose ri kandar bo shende he. Raba ba 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 ba. Rokonde ri kandar bo shende he. Many people, my God, while they are going through and waiting on God, it is one of the hardest thing for them to pray for somebody, for them to consider someone, and to say, "Let me help this one. Let me see what I can do." My God Almighty, e kandar bo Shanda, they start to get miserable. You start to say that I cannot do for no one else because I'm going through hell. You need to understand each time you speak and say that you're going through hell, the enemy will show up because that's what he said. That's what my God Almighty make him the wicked one when you call upon whatever he have and whatever he's doing. My God Almighty, you needed my God Almighty to trust the Lord. Be of good courage, my God Almighty. Wait on him. Look not to the right, nor to the left, but my God Almighty in the midst of waiting. Do something to please him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you people of God we just my God Almighty have we have my God Almighty one two months my God Almighty this month and next month for my God Almighty the year to finish but I tell you something look into this and know that my God he's a right on time God if he said he's going to do something he will never leave you or forsake you sometimes my God Almighty he show up at the right time when you are saying it's too late I don't think I can do it again sometimes we come and we insult him we say things over our blessing and then we want to my God Almighty get ourselves sad and talk about my God Almighty that my God we were waiting and things just happen but you need to understand God he's a right on time God he cannot fail cannot lie he will never die he's the Lord Jesus Christ, while my God Almighty, some of us open up our mouth and talk about God is late, what about us that delay our praise our worship, our honor our glory unto him and to give him my God Almighty what belong to him, for he is the Lord of Lord, he is the King of all kings he is a mighty powerful God that's who he is, he want for us to wait on him, he want for us my God, in the midst of waiting, don't let it be becomes heavy because when it becomes heavy that's when my God Almighty we sin and say things that is not pleasing in his sight what is God saying my God my Lord my King you need to get and understand people of God when we my God Almighty hallelujah are waiting on God and we my God Almighty are gazing my God Almighty I'm being lazy I'm being disgusting I'm being my God Almighty accountable shataya miserable my God Almighty you need to understand what happened. The enemy come in and he disarrange what God already fixed my God Almighty. So it's hard for us to get it right. People of God, let us my God Almighty focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop my God Almighty focus on the situation for the least. In the time of my God Almighty when you least expect God will come in and you will get whatever he promised. Amen. I receive it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your instruction, Lord, for your children that you love today, Lord. Thank you, 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 L
my God, my Lord, I pray for the mind. I pray for the mind of many. My God, my Lord, my King, people of God, are we really looking into ourselves and see many times how we use our very mouth and sin ourselves? My God Almighty, many times, my God Almighty, when there is a situation and God said that we are to my God Almighty wait, my God Almighty not to do anything. We have a way of talking and saying and sinning ourselves. Mighty God, mighty God, let us, my God Almighty, look into ourselves and see what we are doing. If we cannot look by ourselves, ask Him to my God Almighty, as the Word of God said in Psalms 19. Search me, O Lord, and know my thoughts and see if there is any wicked ways in me. You see what we need to get and understand. Many times we said we are not wicked, but things that we are doing that is not pleasing, it is wicked to God because it becomes a blockage and a force in the midst where he can't able to come in and to do for us more than what we can ever imagine or think. People of God, I rise up to tell you, you might be watching and saying that the year is ending, but I rise up to tell you, the year my God Almighty might be ending, but God is still doing. What a mighty God he is. He Kondalabosha. He Baba Shatara Baba Kendi. Mighty and powerful God. A God that cannot fail. A God that cannot lie. A God that he is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Savior. The Redeemer. The Holy One of Israel. The Great I Priest. The Great I Am. The One. One true and living God. The reason why many of us see ourselves is because we don't sit down and understand. I God Almighty something about Him. Many times, my God Almighty, we need to get out of chatting, need to get out of waste time, doing things that is not pleasing in His sight, and need to just sit down and steer in the room if we can do it. Because I need to tell you. My God Almighty, many times if you just tear and try to look and see him, just as he said that we are not to create any graven image about him. My God Almighty, many times why many cannot sit down and stare at him is because they have graven image in the midst and they are looking on the wall, the picture that they have, they are looking on the cross, the man that they put on the cross, they are looking, my God Almighty, and all kind of things and they are saying you have people my God that go before all these images praying and talking to him don't know my God Almighty that they are only talking to my God Almighty hallelujah spirit that is not of God because in the maze there is no way he can fit himself in an image come on people of God yeah. People, my God Almighty, just like, oh my God Almighty, you'd find many Catholic go before the picture of Mary and then kneel before it and talk in my God Almighty to a statue. How can that be, my God Almighty, when he said, worship no other God beside him. He's the Holy One, the Holy True God, the Great High Priest, the Great I Am. Yes, my God Almighty, Mary is very important, but I rise up to tell many she's only an angel in the realm and she's not my God Almighty the statue that they are looking on and saying that is Mary Mary don't even my God Almighty have the feature looking like the statue that they create my God Almighty so if man could only understand that Mary is an angel from God for the many things that have happened remember what happened when the angel visitor he said Mary the Lord 
God, God Almighty has found favor in you, my God Almighty, and he wants for you to come through. Give your home to him so that he can place, my God Almighty, the heavenly, my God Almighty, hallelujah, see man in it to bring forth, my God Almighty, a baby, and to call him Emmanuel. He must be God with us. That means it must be done in the spirit, not in the flesh, and in the midst of everything. Mary get pregnant. You see the way she got pregnant by the spiritual hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty God, when she, my God Almighty, get pregnant, many don't understand. They said she sleep with a man, but my God Almighty, the only one she slept with is of my God Almighty, intact, my God Almighty, when she, my God Almighty, have my God Almighty, hallelujah, that my God Almighty connection with God, it wasn't intercourse from a man, but it was my God Almighty, a great revelation, where the angel come in and touch her womb and put in that baby, my God Almighty, she have been favor, favor to become a angel in such a time like this, to my God Almighty, hallelujah, for us to call upon and say, Mary, a condom of shatter, help us to get favor from God. It is for us to ask of her to help us to get favor from God, not to pray to her as a God, not to see her as a God, but to see her as an angel and said, Angel Mary, come in and help me to get favor from the Lord God Almighty. Give him glory. <laughs> Because my God, she's the number one that has been favored by God. My Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. That is the reason why many people cannot get their answer because they are my God praying to a statue. They are praying to whatever man creates. And there's no way man can create something and call it God. Call it Jesus. Call it my God Almighty, whatever. Nothing go like that. He said he's a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So men need to get rid of their graven image because it is a blockage in the midst. And cause his aim can't able to come in. Why? Because if you have a statue in your house that said Jesus what happened if you have it you don't need him to come in because you claim you have him already so for you to see the real and true God come in you might not see him but you will feel him the presence will overshadow you it will take over your mind body heart and soul when you get rid of the graven image when you get rid of whatever you create whether it's a picture whether it's a statue whether it's whatever Get rid of it so that the real answer can come in and stand in the midst. For the presence of the Lord will come in. And where the presence of God is, there is liberty while you are waiting on Him. Mama Ketoria Bakende, Roba Baba 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 Baba, Ketoria Baba Kanda, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the Great I Priest, the Great I Am, Rebe Bebe Ketoria Bakende, Rebe Bebe Kondi Anelo Shata, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. You see, people of God, if we can only get and understand for the true and living God to do for us more than what we can ever imagine I think we must see him in the spirit not in the flesh see him in the spirit and not in the flesh 
ma, 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 ma. Oh God Almighty, the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty is upon me. He come Shandai because He has anointed me this morning. He's anointed me this day to tell His people, my God Almighty, how to wait. My God Almighty, what to do while they are waiting. Not to sit down, my God Almighty, and talking. Not to be eating yourself away fat. Not to, my God Almighty, give yourself sickness that you don't belong in your body. My God Almighty, but to trust the Lord God Almighty. Know that He's God all by Himself and He don't need another help. Why do you think He said He will not share His glory with another? When others come in with their, their stature and their cross and their whatever. I speak, my God Almighty, hallelujah. Last Friday I speak to somebody and while I was speaking to the man, I was standing outside, my God Almighty, at a restaurant and I was, my God Almighty, there talking to God. I was talking to my God Almighty, my niece, about my God Almighty good things and what happened my God Almighty he Korobosha Rabababakete I saw this man and he seems to be my God Almighty very nice. He's a white man and I, my God Almighty, I happened to be standing close to him and I said to him, how you doing? Because he called to me so my God Almighty very nice and happy. I come to the and I go up to him and I said, my God Almighty, how you doing? Do you, my God Almighty, know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior? Do you really have him? He go down into his stomach, he pull out a chain and he show me the chain, my God Almighty, with the cross, with, Jesus, with, a, with a statue on it. I said, my dear, let me tell you something. What you are doing is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ because they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. A cross, my God Almighty, with a statue on it will bring blockage to, your holy, to the Holy Spirit. Come on, people. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that is what make him jealous. Make him a jealous God. Because you are creating another God that is not him. My God Almighty. The Holy One of Israel, the great High Priest, the great I Am, the one true and living God that cannot fail, cannot lie. He will never die. He's the Lord Jesus Christ, people of God. I'm telling you, my God Almighty, waiting upon God is not something that you do, my God Almighty. Some of us, the way we behave, my God, we we behave as if we could get a gun, if we could get a knife, if we could get rope and whatever to tie him, we would tie him and drag him like a donkey, and we would put him in a corner, and we would tell him that, look, I'm ready, I need this, I need that, you need to do it right now, but many of us don't understand that when God wants to bring in many blessings, it takes my God Almighty purification, it takes my God Almighty great ability for us to my God Almighty angle it, it takes my God Almighty hallelujah for us to get that revelation in our spirit and not my God Almighty hallelujah keep looking to man instead of God but we are to look on him for he's the one that will be coming and doing great and mighty things things that my God Almighty will take us to the other level in him things my God Almighty that will my God Almighty have us to my God be peculiar people set apart and not to mix and mingle with many people many things that we are doing in, in the midst, my God Almighty, you have many, my God Almighty people, what they are doing if they can't be friend with some people they don't believe that they are all that, but I rise up to tell you that as the children of the Most High God, it must be for those that is not serving Him to run after us, and not for us to run after them, it is for us, my God to have the light that is shining and they must want to, my God have that light around, light around them so that they can see whatever is hiding. I thank you, Lord, as I rejoice. Hallelujah. So much, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory. So much, Lord. Glory, Lord. Jesus. Holy God. You're doing so much, Lord. Hallelujah. 
mighty God I rise up to tell you people of God many of you my God you're saying that you're lonely why you're saying that you're lonely while you're waiting on God is because my God your spirit man is gazing all over the place and looking on my God Almighty somebody instead of focusing on God you need to understand when your free spirit man is filled when you have God way down and deep within you don't need my God Almighty to talk about your lonely no, because right there God is in the midst and how can you lonely when God come in it must be that you might be lonesome for somebody but make sure whoever you are lonesome for make sure God send them make sure they are coming from God make sure they are on a journey make sure they are not coming in to make you sad to take away the blessing from what God is doing by stopping you from praying from fasting from reading from glorifying him from praising him from worshiping him from my god almighty tapping into the things of him because my god many times when you said you're feeling lonely you need to understand what happened the enemy come in with all kind of things and it becomes a great big blockhead lift him up because he's god Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You shall mount up with wings like an eagle. You shall walk and not be weary. You shall run and not faint. Let him be your guardian and your guide. Let him be my God Almighty, the one that you need in the midst. My God Almighty, for he is Lord and he is King. The reason why my God Almighty many times while we are waiting on him, we cannot see him as who he is. It's because my God Almighty, we put men in the midst of him. Many say that they are giving their heart to him. My God Almighty, Many, my God Almighty, Makone Bekende, even in the midst, my God Almighty. Can you all hear me? Yes. Even in the midst, my God Almighty, of many, my God Almighty, that are married, what they do, they claim that they are giving their heart, my God Almighty, to the husband. How can you give your mind, body, heart, and soul to your husband when, my God Almighty, hallelujah, your mind belong to my God Almighty God, when your heart belong to Him, when your soul belong to Him, it must be your, your body that you are giving. The body belong to the husband. That's why the Lord God Almighty he said that my God Almighty when you're married to whoever as your husband my God Almighty as your wife I'm not talking about same partner but I'm talking about the way God created to be my God Almighty so people of God what I'm saying when you my God Almighty in the midst of my God Almighty hallelujah having my God Almighty a husband or a wife my God it's not for you to talk about your giving your heart to your husband what the word of God said he said, see God with your mind, your, your heart, and your soul. What he's saying, he's saying that he must have control over that. But the body, it belongs to the husband. That is the reason why he said in the midst that my God Almighty don't care what husband and wife is doing. The body must belong to him. It is not for no one to keep themselves away from their wife or husband. But they must be able to give them the body. But in the midst, if God have control over the mind, the heart, and the soul, then my God Almighty, everything will come in line with the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift Him up. You see, my God Almighty, many people get married and they got it wrong because they are saying that, my God Almighty, when you're married, you must, my God Almighty, focus on your husband. That's not what the Bible said. The Bible said, my God, that, my God Almighty, in the midst of you getting married, yes, my God Almighty, you think of your husband, you have things to do. Name it one of you because he said he's the God Almighty that honor your bed, that both of you are laying in. My God Almighty, he said that he honor 
of that marriage especially one that he put together and said no man put a sander you need to understand that he honor it I'm talking about waiting on God be of good courage trust him my God Almighty look not to the right nor to the left my God my Lord my King Savior Redeemer my God my God so in the midst my God Almighty of you being married it is for you my God to my God Almighty give God your heart just the heart he want because that's where he want to step in you need to understand if we can only give him the heart my God Almighty and my God Almighty will able to control the mind the he will con able to control my God Almighty the body he will be able to control my God the soul he will able to control your thought when the enemy want to bring in things that is not of him and bring blockage he will able to come in and cancel he will bind crump and paralyze everything that is not of him why you think he said in Psalm my God Almighty Isaiah 59 19 that when the spirit of the Lord my God Almighty when the enemy come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard why you think he said that it's because your heart is beating to his heart my course the candle was shende. If your heart is not beating for God's heart, then my God Almighty can't able to come in and do for you more than what you can ever imagine or think. So, people of God, I'm telling you, my God Almighty, waiting on God is not something simple, but it's for us to my God Almighty get in that place where He wants us to be. My God Almighty, what He said, a heart of worship. <laughs> a heart of worship, a heart of worship. Heart of worship, Mama, 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 my God, my Lord, my King. You see, people of God, you need to understand. In the midst of you waiting on God, the enemy loves to bring in carbon copy. What he will do, he will bring in all kind of things. If he know that, my God Almighty, you're a person that loves to talk about this, about that, about everything, he will always bring things in the midst. But you have to keep your focus. Look not to the right, nor to the left. But look straight ahead to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's Lord, He's God, He's King. He's the Savior, He's the Redeemer. He's the Holy One of Israel. He's the great High Priest. He's the great I Ham. He's the mighty, powerful God. The God that cannot fail, cannot lie, and will never die. He's the Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, let us get it and get it right. My God Almighty, that He's a holy and a righteous God. And when He warns us out of something let us not get ourselves in it let us my god take note and see the enemy device and to open up our eyes and call on the lord jesus christ and said i don't like what is going on my spirit man is not in it come on people of god my course the candle was shendy while you're waiting on god it is not my God Almighty for you to my God Almighty, hallelujah, to be doing things that is not pleasing in his sight. It is my God Almighty at that time. Waiting on God Almighty is something, people of God, that is very, 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 I cannot tell you how very important it is, how very special it is, because you're, this is, this time, my God Almighty, is not that you're waiting on man, you're waiting on God to come through for you, my God Almighty. You're waiting on God to come through for you. You're trying your best, my God Almighty, not to let anything, my God Almighty, hallelujah, mess you up. So right there, my God Almighty, you have to reverence him. You have to praise him. He said, my God Almighty, into Malachi, my God Almighty, one, verses six. If I'm your father, where is my honor? Many of us, we don't honor him. We honor man more than God. We want to, my God Almighty, hallelujah. You'll be there, my God Almighty, reading our praying. And somebody call you and you said to the person, right now, I'm having a quality time with God. You want to join me? They would said, My God Almighty, no, I'm just taking a little of your minutes. But your minutes, my God Almighty, becomes a hoa, and you get carried away with them because you're a man pleaser, my God Almighty. And in the midst, you don't understand that the Holy Spirit lift and gone back where it is in the midst of the hurt with the blood and the water. Oh. 
My God, Jesus said, My God, my Lord. My God, my Lord, the person that call you, they don't want to read the Bible with you. They don't want to pray with you. People of God, take note of this. Take very note of this. In the midst of waiting on God, that is a very, very special time. You cannot let anybody mess it up. You cannot cause anything to come in the midst. You cannot cause your spirit to grieve God. You have to, my God Almighty, please Him. Look now to the right nor to the left because he's a holy and a righteous God when he want to come in especially when he tell you something and you're waiting on him don't let anybody spoil it don't let anyone spoil it because the one that is coming to spoil it already have what they have. They don't, they don't want to pray to God for anything. They can just, they, you will find my God Almighty, a person that is calling you. That person, my God Almighty, already have money, already have their house, already have this, already have that, and already have so much things. While you are there, my God Almighty, waiting on the Lord Jesus to come in for you, to do for you more than you can ever imagine or think. And you that let that person come in and make Yes, you hope. Why? Because you're a man pleaser, my God Almighty. When you're waiting on God, you cannot be a man pleaser. You cannot be a man pleaser. My God, my Lord, my King, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Holy One, my Great High Priest, my Great I Am, my my, 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 my. You see, my God Almighty, you have many. My God Almighty, of you. You can't help, my God Almighty, hallelujah. I've been on the phone talking. You need to understand, people of God. This is something that the enemy want to bring as a blockage between you and God. Because I rise up to tell you, if you check, my God Almighty, hallelujah, in the midst of your waiting on God, how many, my God Almighty, call you and said, let us pray? How many call you and said, let us read the Bible? How oh, many call and said, My God Almighty, let us get into a meditation with God. Ribiosha, Mama, 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 Kone. How oh, many said, My God Almighty, let us talk about the goodness of Jesus and all that He has done for us. Let us look back and see where He has brought us from. <laughs> you need to understand these people that are calling you they are waste of time they want to waste your time with God they come to black they come to stop they come to my God Almighty turn down the hands of the Lord Jesus have him my God Almighty not able to come in then we start to cry and say God is late or he's not coming or it seems like God forget about me I rise up to tell you how can God forget about you when he come to you and tell you something and you are to wait on him yes my God Jesus the mercy of God when we are waiting on God we have to trust him we have to wait on him. We have to look not to the right nor to the left. Because if we do that, we are in big trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble, people of God. That's a great blockage, my God Almighty, when we are waiting on God. And have other things blocking it. My God Almighty. If we can only look on the many time that we have wasted on the telephone, Lord Jesus Christ. Talking all kind of things that is grieving him. Come on, people. Amen. My God, my Lord, my King. 
my Savior, my Redeemer. Oh, God Almighty, help us, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord God Almighty, because the enemy, he come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He come, my God Almighty, hallelujah, to bring down people. You have to understand, people of God, he's a wicked old dragon, that wicked old Satan. He's not about nothing else but to block and to stop, my God Almighty, our blessing. So we have to, my God Almighty, stay focused. We have to, my God Almighty, look not to the right nor to the left. And know, my God Almighty, that God, he care and he understand. He don't want for us, my God Almighty, to get messed up. He want for us to, my God Almighty, get set up in him. Come on, people. He don't want for us to get messed up, but to get set up in him. Come on, people. <coughs> That's right, yes. I said he don't want for us to get messed up. He want for us to get set up in him. Amen. Waiting on the Lord of Lords and the King of all kings is not an easy thing. It is something that we have to keep our focus on. It is something that we have to be very mindful. Pinch yourself sometime and tell yourself, Oh, I think I'm wasting time. I'm talking too much. I'm doing this too much. I'm doing that too much. I need to get some quality time between me and my God. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are, because I rise up to tell you, my God Almighty, you have, my God Almighty, people that are living holy and righteous for God, that are, my God Almighty, they are supervisor, they are manager, name it, people of God, but get it as I tell you, they spend time with God in their heart, come on, people. Amen, amen. Yeah, I'm with you. Whatever you are doing, you said, God, show me how to do it. God, help me how to do it. In the midst, my God Almighty, of all that I'm doing, I make sure, my God Almighty, I call the Spirit of God in. I said, God, help me how to pack. Help me how to get rid of this. Help me how to do this. And there are times, my God Almighty, when I get to a stage where I start to just push things in, push things, things, and I said, you know what? In, this, in the peak of time when I'm sick, down I will able to do other to do do things with this but there comes a time when I just want to lay away with him you all don't understand Yes, Lord. Mine. I said people of God there are times when I have to lay away with him you need to understand you have to my God Almighty see the Holy Spirit as an egg look at my God Almighty the, the, the end look at the end my God Almighty when they lay their egg what happened when they are looking for chicken they have to spend quality time to keep that egg as warm as ever so that the chicken can develop in it come on people many people don't understand that's what it is <coughs> So what happened, my God Almighty? There is my God Almighty. That chicken, that hen, that you see laying on the egg. What do you think happened with that hen? They sp that hen spent so many quality time on that egg. That my God Almighty. When it is time for him to bring forth that chicken, they are well mature coming out. Come on, talk to me. Amen. 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 Amen.